Hi everyone. Today I want to demonstrate to you how to use confusion metrics for recreation problems. It sounds a bit unusual, confusion metrics for regression problems. Usually we are using confusion metrics for classification problems. Yes, you are right. But sometimes we also want and we can to use some variation of confusion metrics for regression problems. And I want to demonstrate to you how to do it in the orange data mining tool. Okay, let us start. We use AUSYNC data set. Our goal variable is MET, and this is numeric random, and this is numeric goal, goal variable. Okay, let us be to the model of linear regression. You can see that R square equals 0 0.6. It can be good, it can be bad, it depends. And now let us build some kind of confusion metrics. First task, we want to convert our goal variable to categorical. We want to convert our prediction values to categorical. And after that, we can build confusion metrics. Here we will use feature construct. We will define two categorical variables, one for math and one for regression prediction. Let's start from predi regression prediction. Okay, we define new categorical variable. Let's give to this variable name linear regression big, medium, small. And this is the formula. If prediction of our linear regression less 18, 19, it will be small price. Otherwise, if the prediction of linear regression is between 19 and 24, it will get value medium. And otherwise, if the prediction price greater than 24, it will get value big. In similar way, we define new categorical variable met big, medium, small for met in similar way. And now we can use confusion metrics. But instead of confusion metrics, we will use pivot table. Here we choose our new two variables, met big, medium, small for rows, and linear regression big, medium, small for columns. And this is confusion metrics. And as you can see, when our house mid parameter was small, our prediction was small in 116 cases, and it was medium in 57 cases, and it was big in zero cases. So far, so good. When real value of house of MEDB was big, our model says it's small in one case, only in one case. It says it's medium in zero cases. And our model says it's big in 156 cases. So far, so good. So we some kind, some variation of confusion metrics. And sometimes you can use it. Sometimes it's useful. Sometimes it can give us some insights on our data. We will stop here 